All right, so quick update, dude. What's going on, man? Well, you see, uh, <laughs> it, the tank didn't just leak again. As when we got it, we didn't know that it hadn't been above a certain point. So the, the pressure it was too much when we took it up to a certain point. Yeah. So it eventually started leaking. It wasn't catastrophic, but it right. started leaking. So here it is, guys. You're probably not seeing this video until after the holidays or sometime around there. Um, this actually happened to us right before leaving for our little week, uh, long weekend in Columbus that you know we were talking about going on. However, so this tank, um, initially we had a 110 here. We repaired it. It leaked again. This Jack said this corner is pretty much cursed. <laughs> I don't. I think so. I don't believe that. I think we made some bad decisions. Probably should have just went all out and got something newer. Anyway, we did get a new stand on clearance. It was a very good stand. But when these people gave us this tank, and again, Mallory and James were very, very nice to, to give us this 75. We were initially going to use it for Brutus. We ended up putting Brutus at the gym in a different style tank. I was thinking of putting this one over there in the front room. However, we decided when that one leaked again to just start basically bring it back here. We did a quick background paint. We put a new stand together. We got this stand on clearance because it was, I was like marked up, but you couldn't see it anyway because it was like facing the wall and stuff. So we popped it together while we were watching a, a movie. We put the new tank on it. We moved everybody over and it was fine for like what? I don't know, six months or something? Yeah. Well, it developed a very slow leak. We didn't even notice it right away, actually. Um, and because everything evaporates so fast in the winter time, we just thought, oh, it's just evaporating like these other tanks are and we'll just top them off. So we woke up this morning, Sunday morning, and everything was soaking wet. Now, luckily we're prepared. We do have the pet carpet in here. We've talked about that in the past and it was only down about halfway. So I don't know, 30 gallons of water. So not the end of the world. We were able to transfer everything over here we pulled out the under gravel filters. We are going to pretty much set this tank up exactly like it was before. We got all the angels. We got the big Anubius tree in here. Some of the Anubius dried out a little bit, but hopefully we can save them. We got everybody here in the thermos. We got the plecos in here. Now the big white pleco we did put back in the 110 over there because initially that's where she was from anyway. We may just leave her in here because she's getting big. As you can see, we got a new tank already um, because... We kind of planned out it anyway because we initially wanted to go back to the 210 to have the extra height, but they weren't really available when this thing initially leaked because of the whole COVID thing. So talked to Connor right away, ran up and got a new stand, ran up and got the tank, brought him home, gave us an amazing deal. Um, and that is going to, the only thing we did notice is this, this is a newer kind of tank. It's actually really neat. Both of the, the sides are actually tempered. So uh, because of the height, it actually has tempered sides. So this is an extra tall 110 or whatever they call it. This is a, a by um, Sepora. So this is the same as our 110. It has the you know black seals and all that kind of stuff. So pretty excited that we just got a new one. This is a little bit like the Green Lantern stand. It's just a little more modern. It doesn't have the grooves. It's just, it's just facing the other way. Um, so anyway, since it doesn't fit exactly right, we're going to put a huge board on top of this because it's just making the edges. And we don't want something like this to happen again ever. <laughs> Do we, dude? <laughs> so we're actually going to take a huge board. I'm going to go up to a Menards, get a big, huge stick board, put it on top of this whole thing. I'll just paint the sides of it black or something or use a marker and this will go on top. So we're going to set this up like we initially had it before, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Now, the reason these folks probably didn't realize this had a leak, it was sitting for a long time when they gave it to us. And that sometimes happens is you get rot or whatever. Now, when we had the turtles in here temporarily while we were building their pond, it was only filled about two thirds of the way. And if you don't fill a tank all the way, sometimes you can't tell it doesn't have the, the same pressure. So luckily we know a guy who like breeds bearded dragons and even though this stand, you know, has some water damage because it's press board and all this, it would be great. So we're going to still be able to recuperate a lot of the money that we spent on the stand. 
by selling this back to him and all that. And uh, basically we wanted to show you another thing. <laughs> this was another video we were gonna make. Um, never got around to it because all this happened. This was, Jack loves my little makeshift. I was working and we mentioned in the beta video that we did a, a couple weeks ago that the galaxy started to uh, spawn. Well, I was very, very busy with work, so I took an old insect container here, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and basically while I was talking on the phone, literally in, in a two minute hold between calls, I took a doorknob handle, cut, it, cut a hole in this side, cut a hole in that side, cut a hole in the top, and then on my next call, I silicone these together. The reason we did this is because the top of the insect container had much larger holes. These are little sprouting containers that we used to use with very small holes. So put these on here so it would have some cross flow. I put this on so we could feed the dad, lowered this down into the tank, and it actually worked. The other plecos left him alone. He was in solitude. I dropped a little pleco wafer down here a couple times. He was able to kind of stick his head out, do a little eating, and then go back in. That, however, uh, our, our, our idea was to then, when they grew a little bit, was just lift this out. So this is like our little makeshift DIY Pleco nursery that I made in about five minutes on a call that I was on because I noticed that he was in there. So what we did do with him is we moved him to one of the beta tanks this morning and we did notice that those babies are alive. We put a little flashlight in there. So hopefully he's not too traumatized and he continues to kind of fan them. They're in their like egg status. So. That big, huge mamma jamma is going to come over here. It's going to be about seven to eight inches taller, uh, like the initial 110 was. We're now going to move this into the garage. And, you know, like I said, we're going to sell it to that gentleman. Again, we're just really trying to recuperate some of the money we put into this stand. It's, it's going to be a nice setup for him. It's just not, we don't trust the stand to hold water again. And these things happen. This is all part of being the aquarium hobby, right, man? Yeah. It, it stinks, but it is. Let's go check out this dad over here. Um, we did a little video how we had this little uh, beta that we kind of rescued. It was in with a bunch of tetras and all that. And we named her Gamora. These lights aren't even on yet. Anyway, Wade's doing great. I mean, this is like a week or two after we did that other video with on the betas. Um, Mary Brownfield's doing awesome. I mean, she's loving her little she shed with, with her auto sink. Let's look what she's looking right at. And then this lady's doing good now. She's kind of hiding in the corner over there. You can see her. She's doing pretty good though. We did medicate her a little bit and everything. Oh, look at the little, the little near right snail is, is up there. He'll probably either eat him or kick him out of the way. Anyway, you can see his tail in there. And we just took the whole log and we just popped it right into this little princess tank. Now she's quite small. She's not really gonna bother these guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show in there you can't see, and I don't want to put this guy in any more trauma, but there are about a dozen or so tiny little baby galaxy plecos in there. You know what? I'm actually going to take and just, just going to knock that guy right out of there. Yeah. Don't mess with that dude. He'll probably eat you if you go in there, buddy. <laughs> there is a lot of neurite snails in here. They are quite small. I'm assuming if they come close to that cave entrance, he'll just knock them right out. But anyway, very exciting. Connor from Best of Pets, which we just bought the tank from, told us, hey, those, uh, you get those baby galaxies, I want them. So we're hoping that that works out for them. And then probably what we'll do is we'll put the dad, um, you know, once he kind of starts coming out of there and they're kind of swimming around and stuff, we will um, take him out of there and put him with the other ones and then just let him grow in there. Again, that little tiny female bait is very, very small. I don't even think she could eat... Uh, a little baby pleco, honestly. So, if we feel there's a threat or if we see him chasing, we'll put her over, uh, you know, with Wade or something like that. She'll be fine in there with him. But uh, anyway, they're doing pretty good in here. We got a little heater, we got a little air stone. <clears throat> We're hoping that what we can do is, with the fans and the carpet cleaner, got a big old carpet cleaner, open that uh, thing right there, it's actually right there. Uh, got a big old one a while ago. We're gonna just kind of suck all this up, clean it all. It didn't go, it pretty much stayed in this area. It didn't go over to this tank, which is good um, because that is a wood tank. 
it kind of stopped there and we did put some tiles down and kind of absorb in case it did. It pretty much stayed in this area. Um, it did seep through a little bit, but not much. Um, one, one time, remember we went on vacation one time? This thing is this thing has so much lacquer or whatever on it. The guy that we had made this, a lot of people have asked us about this stand too. We had a retired uh, carpenter actually make this stand for us. And he built it in his garage. I can't remember, I think he charged us like eight or nine hundred bucks or something like that. We had it, yeah. We had it specifically me because we wanted it to be real tall. You can tell this this stand is a, about a foot taller than most stands. And that's one of the reasons this 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 tank is so giant. And, and this is a whole winter project. We're going to be redoing this guy here. Um, look at all those clowns. They're all like, "What's up, fetus guys?" But uh, yeah, we had an issue where, um, and we have to readjust this and everything. This was hanging up, but since we were under here checking everything, we moved some stuff around. Basically, there was a tiny little leak from one of the pumps. And it leaked down and it filled this whole bottom. Remember, there was like two inches of water down here. Now, again, I know people are going to say you shouldn't do that. We just did that now because we removed stuff around. These actually hang up on the side. So there's actually no cords in the bottom. That bottom had so much lacquer or whatever on it <laughs> that it actually held that water. Didn't leak at all. Stayed in the bottom. We vacked it out, dried it out, and there was no wood damage at all whatsoever because he put so many coats of finish on this. What an awesome job. So hopefully, you know, again, this didn't really come up. So that should be fine. We're gonna get this out in the garage. We're gonna clean all this carpet. Hopefully they'll be okay in there for about a day or so. Um, then we're gonna take this big bad boy and put it over here and just reset it up. And it's gonna be exactly like it was before. And we will definitely do a video on that. This is the third time that we have had an issue in this corner. And honestly, a lot of it was just 100% my fault. Just bad decisions. No, but yeah, I'm just joking when I say that, but it's just, it's just, science. that it's cursed. Factually, it's just every time there's a component. Yeah. Positive. Well, we had no idea that this leaked and the previous owners had no idea. And we did put a brand new stand and it was completely level. But again, it was probably leaking very slowly from what I saw behind. I didn't notice it. Um, and I just thought it was evaporating because I was topping off these tanks because they were evaporating. So at the end of the day, it finally, you know, started leaking faster. Um, I am gonna paint the back of that in like a dull black. We're gonna try something different. We like the whole glitter paint. We did it in silver, then we did it in black. I think we're gonna do like a flat black on this guy. So while this whole carpet area is drying and we're kind of waiting to move it, I'm gonna just roller it with like a one coat of like a flat black so that we can put the lights back on it and all that kind of stuff. And there we go. So it's kind of cool that this happened now because honestly, could you imagine if it happened while we were gone? Yeah, that would come All the fish would be dead. Everything would be horrible. So there was no casualties at all so far. Let's hope it stays that way. And let's hope those galaxy babies are born because that's very exciting. Yeah. I've never bred galaxy plecos, a lot of other kind of plecos, never bred galaxies. So we're very excited about that. Of course, this happened right after. <laughs> but my little nursery, my little makeshift nursery worked pretty good. We're going to keep that. I literally set it all out during one call, drilled the holes in two minutes, and then put it together during another call. It dried in 24 hours, and then I popped it on top of them, and everybody left them alone, and those babies were able to grow, and there are little wigglers, and I know you're tired, man. Me too. So anyway, guys, hey, this is all part of this hobby. It's all part of our having aquariums, but we, we, we got an amazing deal from Connor on this amazing tank right here. This thing's like a, a, a friggin' German tank. It's not, it's not gonna have any problems, hopefully. So yeah, we're gonna have updates coming up on the, when we get done and we hope everybody's having a great holiday. We're not sure exactly when we're gonna upload this or whatever, or when this is gonna be done, but we'll show you when it is. Thanks for watching guys. Happy fish keeping, bye-bye.